no, 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 no. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It's come to my attention that you're not measuring up. You'll need to stay late. Again. With no overtime. Your project has to be completely redone. You can't seem to do anything right. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to write you up again, too. You're just not measuring up. That's three more demerits this week. Did you get the memo about the pay cut? Ten percent across the board. We've got to cut back. It's the bottom line, you see. And your insurance co-pays? Yeah, they're going up. Better tighten your belt. We're merging with a bigger company. There's going to be one flavor ice cream, one brand of coffee, one car. There's 20 people waiting for your job. One third of Americans work for less than 8.50 an hour. Get used to it. Be happy with what you've got. You'll have to play catch up on the weekend. With no overtime pay, of course. You're not meeting your quota. What's that you say? The quota is impossible to meet? Duh. Here's how it works. I sit in my office, my corner office, and I do some simple math. I look at other companies similar to ours. I get stats. I take a nap. I crunch some numbers. And if the figures show it's only humanly possible for one person to complete, say, ten projects a week, I double it. And that becomes your new quota. Twenty projects per week. Simple. Of course it's impossible. That's the whole point. Gotta keep you on edge. We'll give you some malarkey about setting the bar high, meeting goals, etc. But that's not the real reason. We gotta keep you in fear. Fearful people develop low self-esteem. Thus, they'll never ask for a raise. What? You want a raise?
Stop. Have you lost your mind? Interrupting me in the middle of a sentence. I ask for synergy and you give me... What's that? That file shouldn't be there. You did it wrong. Again. My God, that one's wrong too. How many of your files are wrong? This one's wrong. This one too. Wrong. No when, no want. No way. You're fired. I'm gonna have you arrested.